It is interesting. Well, Ralph and Code, you've not met each other. Ralph, meet Code. Code, meet Ralph. Nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you. Fantastic. Yeah. Glad to be with you guys. Too. Oh. Yes. So, uh, so, so, Scale Swap, it's launching this week, hopefully. Tell us right. more about Scale Swap for people who may not know what Scale Swap is. Right. So, maybe. From the non-blockchain technical uh, perspective, it's kind of a crowdfunding platform. So like a Kickstarter for blockchain-based ventures. Um, and for the ones who are a little bit more um, into that topic, it's an IDO launchpad. So this means that we raise um, certain pools um, in, a, in a pretty late stage before listing on a, on a decentralized exchange. Um, and we are in direct competition with um, with Polka Starter, Ignition, etc. Um, and um, very bold sentence, but um, we have the aim to be the first fair launchpad. So um, on, on the other launchpads, it's pretty usual that you have to own or stake um, a lot of tokens that you get in certain tiers and that you can invest. You know. Um, and um, we have a six-dimensional uh, loyalty system where only one of these dimensions is dependent on your budget. And all the other ones are pure loyalty, let's say, to, um, to our platform, to the projects that are launching in our platform. So um, this gives you, and if, you, if your scale score, uh, which is determined, is, is high enough, you have a guaranteed uh, participation in the pools. So um, this is one of our major um, differentiators. We want to make it more transparent, more fair, um, on the long term, also more sustainable, the whole IDO process. Um, and technologically, um, we will also go new paths. So we will build on uh, Ethereum layer two, um, powered by Polygon. So close to no um, gas fees. I was playing around since weeks on, on, uh, on Polygon. And um, I had 50 Matic. I had no clue how much the fees are, you know. And then I did around 100 transactions. And if I now look at my wallet, it's still 49.95 Matic. Nice. But it's really a fraction of a cent um, um, in, terms of, uh, in terms of gas fees. Yeah. So um, that's what we are doing. We are pretty close before uh, launching and doing our own IDO on our own platform. Um, and we have um, some campaigns and the most special campaign um, together with uh, Boss Logic of our Red Diamond NFT. So this is the highlight also um, for us, this collaboration. And we are really honored that this, uh, that this worked out um, so great. And also thank you very much to you guys, NFT you. Um, so you were the enablers, the curators um, who made that also um, happen. Um, I'm very happy how, how that all works out. Yeah, so are we. I appreciate this too, man. It's my first utility NFT. Like, I haven't had a utility NFT before this. So I'm excited okay. to sit down. Cool. Yes, well, tell us about the one before code. You've got one. So, so tell us about that one before we get yeah. into scale swap. The, the drop that's coming? No, no, the one that you did before, you said. No, 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 this is my first utility. Ah, experience. cool, cool, cool. <laughs> yeah. Amazing. So, well, tell us more about the utility element, Ralph. Yeah. So, um, I thought if uh, Boss Logic is creating the art piece, we need to have a pretty heavy functionality, you know, in finding some balance. <laughs> yeah. And uh, therefore, we made, um, yeah, we made some thoughts how we can make it also a massive functionality assigned to that nft and we came up um with that um with that idea let's um for lifetime or even infinity um set the scale score to maximum so this means the holder of this uh, red diamond nft has for lifetime or even beyond um guaranteed pool participations um all new features will be unlocked um the highest uh, weight in airdrops um, and also the highest voting power in our DAO. So it's the, um, the scale score is the heart of our platform. And um, this NFT unlocks really the maximum what you can um, achieve as, a, as an individual or as a wallet holder. Um, and even when new, when we enrich and enlarge our um, services, 
um, this scale score will be again the heart of that platform, you know. So it's even you can't assess it right now what the value even is from that um, functionality. That's that's a crazy incentive, man. That's like I, I even want it. <laughs> <laughs> you could buy. Have you ever bought your own piece? This could be the first time. No, no, I, I can't do that. I, I can't explain doing that. No, <laughs> you'd be the owner of a Boss Logic original, though. That'd be pretty cool. You know? <laughs> nah, but I should like, like I knew about the incentives, like what you get with this thing, but I didn't hear it. Like I didn't read it in depth as much as he said it. Yeah. So, like, I need, like, when I post about it today, like the launch, I need to add that in because mm -hmm. people need to read that because that's that's just crazy. Yes. Yeah, well, we, we were talking with Ralph at the beginning um, before we hunted you down and everything, and we thought, well, even even if Boss Logic did the art, like that's actually maybe the secondary reason that someone might buy this, right? Like you were yeah, saying no, that you might want no, to buy it. After I, after I heard that, I don't even care about that. That thing is a key. It's like a VIP pass, like forever. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It is exactly what it is. It's a it's a loyalty yeah. VIP pass, and you've got the artwork as well. So it's kind of yeah. double bubble, right? It's exactly, and um, therefore also the reason um, for that naming um, overall, let's say, of the package red diamond, uh, because uh, the red diamonds are the most rarest diamonds in the world. So uh, we also had giveaways with blue diamonds and orange diamonds, which are not that rare, also in reality. And they had uh, limited functionality, like um, you, you uh, free pool participation in our own pool, or five white listings, let's say, um, for for uh, pools of their choice. Um, and we had uh, we are doing a series of uh, two of two for the blue one, and um, a series of twenty for the orange one. And a majority um, we, we gave away to our community. And this is, let's say, the. Um, the special piece on top that's the, the red diamond category where um yeah forever there will only be one piece minted you know and with this really um special um artwork and this special functionality so this was our target to make that also a re really special event i'm really, really cool <laughs> <laughs> tell us more about the art code so we got on a call with you we told you about scale swap and a red diamond and you kind of not stopped us but you went I've, I've got something in my head like tell us what happened so, after that call so basically in my head i had like um i was gonna do basically mountains which is uh, infused with red diamonds but then you know, thinking about the rarity of a red diamond, making it a mountain doesn't make it rare anymore. It's, it makes it like, you know, millions of people can find it. It's a mountain. Mm -hmm. So I thought something like deep in the rainforest, like deep hidden, like that's how you see the picture. It's like a red rose that's like deep within the rainforest and you can hear the rainforest everywhere. But the, the piece is like, you can't really find it. It's lost in, in the rainforest. And that way, when you see it, it's like so immense, like you just found something special. So, so that that was my aim for the artwork. I mean, I felt I mean, that when I saw it. Yeah. Well, yeah, you, guys, you guys gave me the inspiration for the sound element. So when you said there was no sound, I'm like, yeah, they're right. It's missing something. So I kind of stayed around like eight hours, nine hours, figuring out a good <laughs> sound that pulls you in. And I found that, that sound. It seems yeah, it to be quite inspired by nature. Like just, yeah, 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 it's a really beautiful piece, you know, just to watch. Well, well, diamonds, diamonds are essentially nature. So, mm. and, that, and that, you know, I kind of wanted to bring that all full circle. I, I want to take out the human element. I wanted to take out just like any presence around it. It's, it's meant to be like a like a place of solitude when you look at it. Mm. It's I do like it. Yeah, and the fact that it. Uh, the diamonds were brought into the pestle and the mist coming out of it. I really, really did enjoy that. And uh, I, I mean, my wife isn't even a butterfly person. She hates butterflies. And she's like, actually, that's, that's pretty cool that. It's actually glowing <laughs> as well. That's why I made it into a neon butterfly because a lot of people that don't like butterflies like like neon. So a neon butterfly works. <laughs> how, can you not, how can you not like a butterfly? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> you need to ask her this question. I think it's the unpredictable nature 
of their flight. You know, they can just go anywhere. Yeah, like yeah. You, you really. never know when they're just going to viciously attack you. You know, there's, <laughs> yeah, there's really the savage. Attack. You've got to be careful. <laughs> <laughs> so, it, so how long did it take you and all? It was, but I think what was interesting for us is that we had a WhatsApp group and you, you actually showed us different images along the journey. Yeah. And I thought, to me, that was really interesting because I only have, have ever seen your finished product. And it was uh, really, really cool thing. The reason I was showing you is because I, I usually do that with projects. I show you increments of it just to see what your gauge is. If you didn't like the first one, I wouldn't continue in that direction. So you guys liked the first one, so I upgraded on that, and I kept going. Then when you liked it a lot, I kind of did the final touches, which that kind of makes it blow up at the end. And, like, when you're creating, do you kind of do a bit, step away from it, come back, kind of keep kind of coming and going back to it. depends on the commission. This one here, the one for this, because it was such a tight timeline. Yeah. I spent six hours on the direction I, I told you about, the mountain. Then I just scrapped it. And then I went to this one and continued. So remember initially I told you I was going to do two? Yeah. So I, I did those two. One of them was the flower. One of them was the mountain. I, I found the flower way more powerful. Mm -hmm. I spent all my time in that. Interesting. I'm, I'm just looking forward to see the inevitable future mountain NFT you go to. <laughs> I can see Ralph thinking already. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that will come out. There'll be a color or something else. I'm pretty sure we have something down the track. Right. Cool. But I love also this, um, for me, this this rose, you know, and it's, it's uh, something that that is coming out of nature and also that uh, the diamond at the end is not something fixed, you know, like uh, the, the, the final polished one. This is also a little bit the functionality of it, you know, because yeah. our, our platform will evolve, you know. We are also yeah. like a rose that is growing up um, yeah. and uh, the diamond is even getting more and more power, you know, and getting more shiny. Um, so therefore, I also loved this, uh, let's say, from, from that angle, you know. And I was at the beginning a little bit surprised because I had a, a look, you know, at your, at your uh, uh, pieces of art uh, that, you, that you made so far. And I really liked it that you um, went also a little new paths, you know, from, from my perspective. Well, uh, I, I, knew the, I knew you needed something different. You needed something, like, different to what I do. Like, it's, it's my style. Yeah. But it's kind of your vision. I kind of, I needed to do that. I couldn't just create something that is always looks like my stuff. Yeah. And I really love this. And the whole team is is fully enthusiastic uh, about it. Um, so um, yeah, really happy um, that we that we brought all this together to um, to one big um, NFT, but also one big uh, event. Um, which also has a, a deeper sense behind, and I love that, you know. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I love, I, the reason I said yes to this and we're all in on it is because I've, like, in the NFT space, I've done drops, I've done auctions, and it just feels like I'm selling artwork as NFTs. But this one, because it has a function and has a purpose, this is what NFT and the whole, you know, smart contracts is all about. This is what I wanted to do from the start, and mm -hmm. I finally get to. That's really cool because we, we want to broaden the level of what NFTs are um, yeah. in general. In the in the years to come, you know, NFTs, I mean, I, I didn't know what they were a year ago. And now I know a hell of a lot about them. But but I feel like there's so much to do with them that aren't art. And I think that art's been a great visual um, a visual connector to, to a, what an NFT is. And that's amazing. But now yeah. that tip of the iceberg, you're now starting to go underneath the surface of what yeah. really can happen. And from our point of view, it's just great that we've got a really new and exciting platform, you know, tech combined with a, a, a legendary, you know, artist, digital artist, you know, the best of both worlds are combining this art and tech into this new space. And I think NFT, the whole NFT, you know, ecosystem so new, you know, in a way that we all have to be careful to protect it so it doesn't get, you know, oversaturated and a bit crazy. And I think it's just really important what we're doing and just bringing together, like, really good art, really good tech, combining it, is, you know, with functionality, making it visual, visually stimulating. And it's, it's just a really great piece to be a part of, you know, just for the ecosystem, you know. 
I'm ex- mm. I'm excited for this and like what else you know Scale Swap's gonna bring to the table because I'm pretty sure if you're going out with a bang, like you got heaps already planned like going down the track and I'm hope I'm a part of at least one of them. Yeah. <laughs> right. Well, I hope so. We have to now. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, and I think um it's also um we want to be a little bit different from from other DeFi and and um NFT related projects. It's it's a lot of it's a certain gray area on the one hand and a lot of hiding, you know, from the project. Some even don't um, show anything from their team or whatever. So um, Stan and myself, uh, uh, who's the co-founder and CTO, we stand for full transparency. You know, um, the full team is there. We have our conditions for the pools are, are um, um, publicly available, 3% flat rate, you know, not... Um, yeah, dealing around in background, you know, and maybe some, some some shady deals or whatever. We want to be transparent, straightforward, um, and we also um, want to, um, yeah, bring that whole IDO um, um, IDO space to the to the next level. That um, it also survives the bear market. At the moment, it's so much on hype, so much on on oh bullish, bullish, one hundred x. This is this can't survive, you know, and we, w- we won't see the same procedures in, in one year, you know. But the most important is that the project is performing in one, two years uh, very well, that they have traction, reworld traction, volume, you know, that they have committed and loyal users. And this will automatically be mirrored also in the in the in the token at the end. So um, our goal is to have the track record, let's say, also on the mid and long run and not only let's say very short term focused cool that's really cool can't wait for this i mean <laughs> I, i'm going to be using it myself to be fair soon as well um code so what what music do you listen to certain music when you when you actually do your art or do you have to listen to a certain type of music or do you have do you have like, I, I, inspiration for I, what you listen to i listen to everything I, I legit listen to everything. Right now it's um, hip hop, um, mm-hmm. some random hip hop, R and B. Just, but I, I go to my playlist on YouTube and just press play and just let it go. Mm-hmm. Right. Is, is there anyone specific that you like out of hip hop who uh, who you know like? Right, I'm working on something. I need to listen to this person or group or well, song. Technically, right now I'm listening to Locksmith and Hobson right now. Cool. I know that you, you and Shaz have been doing it. I know that Shaz is well into hip hop music and you two have like been all over the show on WhatsApp comparing notes of hip hop yeah, yeah. artists. And stuff. We've been locking we've been locking down <laughs> That is really cool. Like if do you have to like change your music if you can't get to an idea or do you just walk away and have a break or something? No, usually when I don't have an idea, I, I walk away and just take a day off. Because sometimes you need fresh eyes. Yeah, mm. definitely. Do you ever get any third-party views on your early work? Do you have like people around you that kind of are very uh, nicely objective? I got uh, my best friend's name's King's Letter. He's a sculptor artist, and he'll give. I'll, I send him and my brother in a WhatsApp group what I do, and they'll give me my correct feedback. They're brutal. So yeah. <laughs> I love that. That's the great thing. I think when people are close to you, they can be brute. Like my wife is my biggest critic. You know, it's it's amazing though, because otherwise, you're just going to rest on your laurels, aren't you? You need to you need to be challenged by others. Honestly, I don't say it much to them, but it's like my works sometimes come out like as good as they are because of those guys. Because initially they were like maybe at like sixty five percent, but they push it all the way to a hundred. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Do you really want to give them that much credit? <laughs> I got credit here. Oh yeah, I forgot this was recorded. <laughs> no, <laughs> okay, we can edit it out. We can edit it out. Yeah. You did it all on your own. No help from anyone else. No, but, but you need the honesty. You need. You can't always have yes men. Hmm. Yeah, definitely. Um, okay. Well, what what about your future work? Are you allowed to share anything about what you're up to next? I know you've been showing us a couple of pieces in our group, but obviously I'm not going to mention any of that. I got a whole bunch of. Um, you saw the ones I put put out there to you. They're they're, they're for the NFT space and and the bigger broader picture of NFTs. 
But what I'm working on right now, I've got like a whole bunch of projects with um, WB, Marvel, Netflix. There's a whole bunch of promotional stuff that I've been doing and will be doing for the next two weeks. Oh, really cool. I, um, I have another client in my other agency and they run um, a streaming review website. And as part of that, I've been, like, they've given me a little bit of access to special Netflix accounts where you get preview content. I, lo I love that stuff. I'm, I'm, assuming, I'm assuming, do you get to see things before air date so that you can, actually, you can actually interpret it for your own art? So, I, get, I get to see a lot of stuff except the Marvel stuff. For some reason, they are walking through. <laughs> right. See, that's interesting. They're like the Star Wars things. I remember, like, even as all the way down to bus shelter posters, um, they were the only people that, uh, after the advert had finished, like for episode two and stuff or whatever, that you would have to wrap up the posters and send them straight back to Lucasfilm. Um, it was. It's really weird how protective some of them are. But wh why wouldn't they be? It's one of the uh, yeah. most anticipated film yeah. settings, isn't it? Yeah. And Ralph, can you give us any sneak previews into any of the the, uh, the projects that may be launched on Scale Swap, or is, is this top secret for the time being? For the time being, let's say it's top secret, but um, we also want to emphasize for now a little bit our own uh, pool, uh, mm -hmm. you know, on our own launch. But um, we will definitely have uh, the majority that will come first uh, will, will have a strong connection to NFT in various ways let's say um but um there will also be um, um DeFi related uh, projects but also um, a very special project in the area of um combining nft and 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 uh, a complete social environment um with real world traction already um so this one will be um, a huge um, a huge launch, uh, I would estimate, with around four weeks uh, from now. Um, yeah, but um, we will we will come up pretty soon with the with the lineup. We don't plan to make um, to shoot out, let's say, the projects right after launch. You know, every second day. Um, I think we, we we need some real good quality projects right from the start. I better select them, better work also a little bit better to, uh, together with them to polish them, you know. Um, we have a very good network in, in, in all directions, um, very good stakeholders, which we um, can also share with them. So um, the first ones which will also get the, the special care package of Scaleswap. Cool. Ooh. That sounds interesting. So I've for four weeks. Yeah. <laughs> um, have you um, have you got any um blockchain like projects or people or you know companies that you think are doing something really cool right now maybe away from an ido launch pad of course but is there anything that you're looking at right now again that's a really cool project um there are some protocols some interesting protocols that are at the moment emerging you know on the one hand where we need to see um how that fits into the overall uh, landscape um so um Casper Labs is um, um recently uh, launched you know um we have Solana and, and some others um so this is pretty interesting um i'm pretty um interested also on on solutions on on layer 2 um I'm still a little bit old school, you know. Um, um, Ethereum is for me the basis, you know, because there is also the core community, in my perspective. And therefore, we also did not um, publish ourselves. We are the multi, multi, multi chain project, like most of the others. We say we are an Ethereum project uh, on layer two, even if we have already started with integrations with other chains. But we simply don't want to put that in, in front, you know. Um, so, um, and, and projects that are built on, on layer two, and there are various options, not only Polygon, like, like we are doing. Um, there are a lot of technologies out there, zero, zero knowledge proof uh, uh, ones, um, um, optimistic rollup. So, there are a lot of technologies out there. This is also a very interesting, um, interesting area for me. Um, Polygon has the advantage that it is. Uh, creating at the same time also um, an own thriving ecosystem, you know. So you have uh, decentralized exchanges on there, 
Quickswap is in the meantime, I think, in the top six or something like this of the DEXs. So really decent volumes, um, decent um, amount of transactions and users. So you can stay also, for example, on Polygon and doing transactions and doing farming and doing whatever you want, you know. And yeah. that's a little bit, um, yeah, the difference also to, to other options. These are the things that I'm pretty, pretty interesting. In. And uh, aggregation services, you know. So aggregating DEX liquidity, aggregating um, in also in, in some other areas. Not only the, the very popular uh, one inch, which also migrated to, to Polygon, but also various others. I think in this aggregation, um, <clears throat> overall topic is also a lot of potential in the future. Bringing things together, interconnect yeah. them. Um, yeah, that's also pretty big. Easier said than done though, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's uh, super I, I, exciting what you've both got on for the future. You know, we can't wait. We can't wait to, to see everything that's coming out. And I think yeah. you're both doing it in the right way for sure. I've Absolutely. got one more question for Code actually. If you were to, who, who are you looking at now, at NFT artists? Like, who's who's interesting you? Or actually, another question is, if you were to collaborate with one person on the next NFT, or one artist or curator, who would that be? Well, he's not there yet, but um, Dan Lavasi. That I'm pretty sure if you guys know him. If you don't know him, you can Google him. But I want him to get into the NFT space, and that's someone I, I would like to collaborate with. See, all the people in the NFT space at the moment have, like, have done their drops, have shined. I love their work, but you know, I would love to see some new blood. Mm -hmm. I can see gold now adding it to a task list. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. Well, thanks for everyone so much for all your time and like, and just producing this piece of art that's just been a really interesting project away from the art itself. I mean, I think this may be just the start of a lot of similar collaborations with a lot of artists, curators and platforms or startups mm -hmm. in general to do things. It's uh it's gonna be really interesting to see what what the whole ecosystem does away from crypto as well and how they'll adapt to it if they even want to, which I'm sure they will. Uh, it's really dope being part of something like that has meaning. Like uh, I like uh, I'm just eager to see where this is going. So I can't wait to That's actually it. launch <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> That's happening today, isn't it? So, um, the today. isn't it after this call? After this call, it's going to be it's going to be ready for auction, and then yeah. let's go. Yeah, Absolutely, someone's going to get very lucky. All right. <laughs> good nice. luck to the buyer. Yeah, and thanks yeah. very much, guys. Right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. And, Thank you. and let's if it all goes well, let's celebrate somehow. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. We're all coming to Melbourne. What are you talking about? We're look I'm looking at flies now. That's true. Cool. Right. Well, right. enjoy your day and evening, Toad. And uh yeah, we're excited for this. You guys too, man. Right. Let's touch base. Um hopefully it starts straight away, like someone bids, and then we can link up after 24 hours. Exactly. Cool. We'll all catch up. All right, right, cool. Catch you later, guys. Take care, guys. Bye. Bye. Thank you very much.